Hi, I am Samira Demirova. Today I am cooking two ocean abalone. For the best results, defrost your abalone overnight in the fridge. Today I am cooking braised abalone. And to start, we need some clear water and our defrosted abalone. So as you can see, the water is coming to the simmer and uh, all the pigment is starting to peel off the abalone. Now we will need to rinse it off and pour new clean water into our pot. Now I'm going to rinse our abalone off. Um, it has been uh, simmering for five minutes and all the pigment has come off. So I'm clearing it off. So our water that we're going to use for the second cook is clear. So as you can see, all these little bits, they need to come off. And clean the beak. As you can see, we have rinsed our abalone clean. It was boiling for five minutes and it has retained all of its flavor. So we're putting it back into clean water. There is about six cups of water. And I'm adding our seasonings. It's ginger, few slices of ginger, shiitake mushroom, and two tablespoons of soy sauce. You can use one tablespoon of light soy sauce and one tablespoon of dark soy sauce. And allow it to simmer for about four to six hours or until your abalone is tender. Our abalone is ready now. As you can see, it's nice and tender. I've got all our elements ready to go into our pan. I've got 250 ml of the abalone stock that abalone was braising in, some tablespoon of cornstarch, a bit of grated palm sugar and some more soy sauce in case we need it. I'm going to crush the garlic and roughly chop it. All right, I'm sauteing the garlic until the flavor comes out, until you can get the whiff of garlic cooking, just in a bit of oil. And I have reserved some um, abalone stock. I'm going to pour about 200 ml of it here. 200 to 250 mils. You stir it. Add a tablespoon of cornstarch. Stir it in. Stir it in well until the lumps go away. If you get some lumps, you can always sieve it through the sieve to get the lumps out, but usually they go away. And then I have got a bit of grated palm sugar. I'm going to add about one teaspoon, one and a half teaspoon maybe. Simmer the sauce for five minutes until it thickens and it's viscousy consistency. Adjust the seasonings if needed. Then add the cooked abalone to the sauce and cook for another minute. To maximize the flavor of the sauce, pour it through the sieve, ensuring you're pushing the garlic through as well. To prepare the vegetables, I'm put, putting them in a steam basket together with some small mushrooms. You can use any small mushrooms that are quick to cook and steam them for a few minutes until they soften. We've started to plate up our abalone dish. First, I've started with steamed vegetables and mushrooms, and now it's time for our abalone. Our abalone is beautiful and soft, and the sauce is viscous and sticky, and this is what we're looking for. 